Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And I uh, want to do a quick, quick, quick sit down. All right, on a precept. It's a precept lesson. Uh, this is Joshua chapter 1 and 9. And I'm going to read. It says, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord Yahweh, thy power is with thee, whatsoever thou goest. Whether soever thou goest. All right? And, um, you know, that's beautiful words given, all right, to Joshua. All right, speak the word of the Most High. And that's for us, us brothers, a uh, few sisters, you know, who, who uh, believe in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, the hopeful elect, that no matter how hard it get, be of good courage, as the Lord said. He said, have not I commanded thee. So it's a commandment, all right, to be of what? To be strong and of a good courage. All right. Now, just see what the word courage says. Courage, the ability to do something that frightens one, that frighten one. The ability to do something that frighten one, because what may frighten you, you know, we're all in the flesh, is when that time come. And you have to fight against the powers that be, which is Esau, Edom, and this, and their, uh, and their madmen, their soldiers. All right, when they go and force you to make a choice to actually not take a vaccine, or more, you know, importantly, that mark of the beast. All right, which is the chip. Well, the vaccine is important as well. So, but that uh, chip. It may frighten you to go against, okay, what the powers that be, which is Esau, Edom, telling you to do. You know, it's frightening you just because you're worried about what may happen with your family. You may be worried about what may happen to you. Well, the Lord said, be of good courage. It's a commandment, man. You know, and uh, mainly this to, first off to the men, because, you know, the word female uh, feminine, I mean, I should say feminine means what? Mind is faith. So, you know, it's, it's normal for a woman to be afraid. But for a man of the Lord, all right, the Lord said, be of good courage. And there's going to be some women, too, that's going to carry that spirit of good courage. All right. All the way to the end, even if, you know, you have to be put to death or caged, you know, for not following the ways of this devil. And guess what? It's a good thing not to follow the ways of this devil because Yahweh Shai is going to cut him off. So it says the ability to do something that frightens one. And the point is the ability. You know, most people, two thirds, they don't have the ability. You know, they don't have the ability because they don't have the courage. Nor do they have the strength in them. And the Rakakwadash, which is the spirit, holy, holy spirit on them to have the ability to have that courage to uh to fight through what it what are you you know you're frightened from it says strength in the face of pain or grief you know that's that's heavy right there all right strength in the face of pain or grief you know to bear your trouble to bear your cross as the lord said your burden all right but that's why we bank on the scriptures okay and leave it into the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because scriptures does say, what's that? Um, uh, Revelations 3 and 10, okay? He will uh, keep thee from the hour of temptation. You know? The elect is going to be kept from the hours of temptation. All right? So let's get back to that word. Let's get back to the scripture. Uh, have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. All right, dismayed. Dismayed. 
cause someone to feel consternation or distress. Right, consternation. I never heard of that. Feeling, feelings of anxiety or dismay, typically at something unexpected. Mm. Mm. All right, now we know what to expect because Yahweh Shah said, Count the cost. Before you came into this truth, you know, when you first started to believe, you counted the cost. You knew what you. You know, sort of say signed up for. Really, you knew what the Lord called you in this truth for. All right. And that's to endure until the end. You know, he tell us everything before things spring up. All right. The persecution, you know, what they've done to him is what they're going to do to us. You know, what Israel on the whole is going to go through. All right. But it's the, we have the good side of the uh, tunnel, the light of the tunnel, because we're actually going into our kingdom. You know, this is not going to be. Israel dispersed once, you know, like it was in 70 AD, dispersed throughout the four corners. All right. This is going to be the deliverance of the elect. All right. So I'm here. Let me wrap this up. It says feeling of anxiety or dismay typically as something unexpected. Right. So let's go back. It says uh, be dismayed. It says neither be thou dismayed. Okay. Uh, for the Lord Yahweh, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So wherever we go, wherever we at in the world, the Lord is with us, man. As the scripture said, we're the light of the world. All right. So I hope this is encouraging to brothers, women. Stay strong. All right. This is short. I wanted to make it short, but I, more importantly, I hope it's edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. All right. Key words. This is a commandment to be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord, Yahweh, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So wherever we go, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is with us. So with that, want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.